Welcome to Thriller Recaps. Today, I am explaining the movie, Night Teeth, explaining every scene as it happens. Watch till the end, and please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this. Long ago, vampires hunted humans, but later humans started hunting the vampires. In Los Angeles, a truce was made, allowing the vampires to go into the shadows while humans continued their lives normally, convincing themselves that vampires didn't exist and forgot to be afraid. Meanwhile, the vampires became richer. Some vampires upheld the truce, while others didn't. The next scene shows Maria at a laundry mart. Jay appears to pick her up, and as they drive, they come in contact with Victor, a wealthy vampire lord. Kay tries to escape with his girlfriend, but he later gets out and hands his car over to Maria, who then gets kidnapped by Victor. In the next scene, Benny, a student and aspiring musician, who's willing to put Boyle Heights on the map, heads home to his grandma, who's made him dinner. He promises to build her a house later in the future, but she stops him and advises him to finish his education first. After lunch, he tries to make music but stops and goes to another room where he meets with his big brother Jay, who seems to never be at home. Jay is a chauffeur. Benny wants to take his place, telling him he needs some money from driving. At first, his brother refuses to allow him to have the car. His brother later agrees to give him the car, which mesmerizes Benny, who's now dressed officially as a chauffeur. Jay tells his brother to act like him and teaches him how to operate the vehicle. Benny warns his brother to be careful before driving off to pick his customers at Beverly Hills. He realizes his customers are Blair and Zoe. He flops at first as Blair notices his pants zip down and almost annoys the girls with his small talk. The ladies tell him to drive them to different clubs in the city, claiming it's unverifiable. They seem to get along well later as he drives them to their first location of the night. He seems impressed with the party location. Meanwhile, Jay, who is secretly part of the human council charged with maintaining the peace between vampires and humans, meets with one of his allies to inform him that a vampire had decided to break the truce between man and vampire by taking his girlfriend, Maria. He informs him that they have till the following day to deal with the issue. Benny remains at the party's location when he hears a woman scream. He goes out of his car and finds the party's entry jewel on the floor. Curiously, he picks it up, but he hears Blair warning him to get back in the car. He then sees Blair and Zoe walking out with a bag in their hands. The duo get in the car with Benny. They both drink and offer Benny a drink, which he refuses, causing them to call him boring. He drives them to their second location, yells the Azul. As they leave, Blair warns him to stay in the car. Blair forgets her phone in the car. A message from Victor pops up asking about Jay. Benny, knowing something is wrong, proceeds to call his brother. The call ends up in Jay's voicemail. He tells his brother to call him back as he thinks something weird is going on. Benny picks the bag Zoe had been carrying. He finds wads of cash stained with blood. Knowing something was wrong, he drops the bag. Unfortunately, a policeman comes to patrol the area so Benny has to get out of his car and runs into the building. He is amazed at the elegance within. He meets with the receptionist who wants to report him at first, but as he shows her the jewel, she immediately apologizes and scans it while treating him as a VIP and even escorting him to an elevator. He walks into a room where he finds Zoe and Blair sucking out blood from two men. Jay immediately realizes the hotel is a feeding ground for vampires. Immediately, they notice him in the room. Zoe pins him to the wall. Benny then confesses he's not Jay, and he's just covering for him. Zoe wants to kill him on sight, but Blair advises they don't harm him so he can take them to Jay. One of the men Blair had been drinking his blood awakens and finds out his partner is dead. He screams that they're ruining the hotel and reminds them of the truce but the girls don't listen and kill him too. Seeing this, Benny runs out of the hotel. He meets the policeman from earlier and tries to report the event to the police, who thinks he's drunk or on drugs. The man then proceeds to arrest him and warns him that anything that happens upstairs should stay upstairs. He's about to push Benny into the trunk of his vehicle when Zoe and Blair walk out and order the policeman to stop, as they seem to know him before. The police refuse to release him, and Zoe threatens him, causing Benny to get released. Benny tries to text his brother, but Zoe finds out and destroys his phone, warning him to stop playing games. In Victor's mansion, there are a lot of bodies used to satisfy his thirst for blood. After taking a picture with them, he drives out. Meanwhile, Benny, still with the girls, fears for his life and tries to escape, but he meets Zoe outside who instructs him to get into the car. Victor drives to vampire bosses, blaming him for breaching their deal with humans. They allow him to take a drink as they threaten it might be his life. Victor argues that being a vampire was beginning to feel like a prison so he went out to do something impulsive. The other vampires warn him that if Jay comes for them, 
Boyle Heights would fall off as they blame him for going after Jay. Benny and the girls stop at a burger shop. So he goes in, and Blair remains with Benny. She advises him to calm down, but Benny finds it hard to do as he's told. Blair calls him a kid and asks if he thinks majoring in economics was going to solve all his problems. She then assures him it'll be over soon. Benny asks if his brother is also a vampire. Blair denies it and says humans and vampires don't really get along. She then confesses the vampires run the city, explaining that Zoe and Victor are together, and she and Zoe manage money from businesses like clubs and other businesses Victor owns. Since Victor doesn't have any real power, he decided to trap Jay and turn him and his gang loose on the bosses, as it's only Jay and his team who run Boyle Heights and know how to kill the vampires. But Jay had refused, so Victor wants to get his revenge on Jay. Zoe calls Victor, who tells her he's been able to get rid of three bosses and they now have two to go. Zoe tells Victor that they didn't get Jay but Benny. Victor says they can use Benny also. Jay and his gang drive to the other boss's house, where they find multiple dead bodies the vampire boss and his girls had used. Jay asks for Victor. He's told Victor was coming after the bosses. When he asks for more information, the vampire boss asks for blood and almost attacks Jay, causing him to get shot. Benny, still with the girls in a mall, meets with Zoe who tells him Blair likes him. She tells him not to bother, as she likes everyone. Benny drives the girls to their last location. Blair asks what they should do with Benny. Benny fearfully says they should let him go and take the car. Zoe at first thinks it's a smart idea, allowing Benny to want to leave. Suddenly, Zoe threatens to tear his body apart if he tries to escape. They suggest he goes with them, and he fearfully complies. Outside, he meets some of his mates who tell him to allow them to go in also. One of them then says Benny can't, as he looks like a butler. This causes Blair to get annoyed and she goes to kiss Benny in front of everyone and then commands them to be sent to the back of the line. They both go into the club. Jay and the rest of his team continue hunting for Victor and the other vampires. Benny, Blair, and Zoe go to the back of the club where they meet Jay's people waiting for them. Jay also walks into the location. He sighted another vampire. The vampire hunters with Benny and the girls are about to kill them when Benny hits one of them with glass, saving Blair and Zoe's life. They walk out into the club, which seems very normal. Jay sees his brother with Blair and Zoe, knowing they're vampires, attempts to go after them but they're stopped by a vampire. Jay kills him and watches as his body burns. Outside the club, Zoe tells Benny that Victor is going to find him, but if he is able to give them Jay, Victor might decide to go easy on him. As they speak, a shot is fired at them. Benny gets them into the vehicle and drives away. He takes the girls to his place and lets them hide there after making them promise to be on their best behavior. Benny's grandma rushes out with a bat and almost hits Benny. She's introduced to Blair and Zoe, and she lets them stay. She notices Benny's hand bleeding and gets worried immediately. He tries to calm her down. Jay and his mate are stopped by a policeman who tells them Victor would like to meet him. Back home, Benny's grandma tells Blair Benny has never brought a girl home. Blair helps him cover his wounds. His grandmother leaves them after warning him to be careful as she doesn't need grandkids. So he calls Victor to inform him of the new development as the vampire hunters are after them. She asks about Jay. He tells her he would be going to meet him soon for a drink. They plan on how to kill Benny. He tells her to relax as Benny is the last kill and the world would soon be theirs. Benny goes into his brother's room, finds a couple of knives, and tests them before noticing Blair in his room. She hears one of his beats and praises his skills. Benny talks about his music and asks if she's passionate about anything. She talks about her past life and how she met Zoe. They continue talking about his music. Blair suggests he submits it to a producer, as it's really good. They're about to kiss when Zoe walks in and tells them they need to leave. Jay goes to meet Victor at the said restaurant. He immediately asks for Benny. Victor instructs him to sit. Victor says Jay is the last piece. Jay asks that Benny and Maria be let go. Jay shoots Victor on the head, but the wound heals immediately. Benny drives the girls to their other locations, a bar where they meet another vampire, Rocco. Zoe asks to be left alone with the man. Blair and Benny leave them as they leave to another part of the bar to talk about how being a vampire feels. Rocco and Zoe remain alone. They talk for a while before Zoe gets out a knife to attack Rocco. Benny asks Blair if she has any family. He talks about his own family, and how Jay is like the only father he'd ever had. He then asks if she's going to kill him. Blair tells him she isn't, prompting Benny to kiss her. Fortunately, Rocco realizes Zoe's plan to kill him. He had prepared for her as other vampires walk out too. Blair immediately tells Benny Victor is with Jay and instructs him to get the car while she joins Zoe to fight Rocco and his men. 
Zoe gets hurt by one of the vampire hunters, but they're luckily able to escape. Zoe seems unconscious as Blair cries, saying Zoe needs blood. She tells him they have to get to their last stop before the sun comes up. Benny drives them to their last stop, Victor's home. Blair encourages him to get into the car and escape, but Benny isn't willing to leave his brother with Victor. She warns him to leave, he tells her to help him. She refuses, and he watches as she goes in with Zoe. As the sun comes up, Benny decides to go in to save his brother. He finds the people Victor was using as his blood banks and sees Jay. He immediately tries to get his brother out, but he's stopped by Victor who drags him to meet the girls. Zoe now feels better. Victor asks him to join them. Benny asks that Jay be let go, and he should be taken instead. Victor asks him if he's ever tried fresh blood. Benny tries to stab him, but Victor is stronger. Victor decides to take Benny and his whole family. Blair gets annoyed and reminds Zoe that Benny saved their lives. Victor sees this and finds it interesting. Zoe tries to calm him down, telling him Blair is just confused. Zoe tries to convince Blair, who decides to stop everything. The two struggle, and Zoe stabs Blair. In retaliation, Benny remotely activates his brother's car, smashing a window and exposing sunlight which kills Zoe. He picks up the knife she's been holding. Victor then attacks Benny using Jay as bait and manages to bite Benny before Blair comes and stabs him multiple times, giving Jay the chance to push him into sunlight, killing him. Blair meets Benny, and they kiss again. She gives him her blood to drink, and he does the same. Benny soon transforms into a vampire. Boyle Heights becomes peaceful again. A burial is held for Maria, whom Victor had killed and eaten. Jay thanks his brother for saving his life before they decide to go their separate ways. Benny leaves his brother with a wad of cash. Benny and Blair start dating officially. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. I would also appreciate a comment because it helps like you can't even imagine.